Hi, in this video I will show you how to create a necklace using a bone pendant and beads. I will use black and white beads, for example this is lava stone. And um, I'll also use some black and white wooden beads and also uh, beads in other shapes. As I said, this um, necklace will be black and white and therefore it can be combined with any um, colors on the clothing. In order to make the necklace, I will use a double thread, like this. And um, the length of the necklace itself will be about 36 and a half centimeters to 37 centimeters. That would be about 14, 14 and a half inches. In order to be able to create the knots and put the beads on a needle, uh, I will add a few more inches, one or two or maximum three inches of thread uh, to my two threads. Uh, and this way um, I will have enough thread to create knots and to um, hold the necklace when I uh, add the beads. So now let's talk about the findings that we shall use and the tools. First of all, let's talk about the tools. So I have here some of the tools that I will be using. Uh, for the thread, I will use a pair of scissors and a lighter. Um, and for the metal findings, um, I will use a pair of chain nose pliers, a jump ring opener. Um, I can also use, if necessary, uh, another pair of pliers to open and to close the jump rings and um, I can use for the um, crimps I can use the crimping pliers or the chain nose pliers. Um, in order to combine all those beads and attach the pendant I will need some findings too and let's talk about the findings now. Let's begin with the closure of the uh, necklace. To close the necklace and to open and close the necklace I will use this S clasp and some jump rings. For the end of the necklace, I will use these uh, bead ends. And some crimps. And now, let's begin <coughs> making the necklace. Um, unlike in the case of other necklaces, um, with this necklace I will use two th uh, threads um, because I have these pointed beads these canine shaped beads which have two orifices so I will use two threads for my entire necklace I will take the two threads and I will put them through my pendant, my bone pendant. 
I will use the big eye beading needle. So this is the needle that we need. I will put the two threads through the needle. So I just open the needle like this, put the two threads through the needle. And I will put the needle through this orifice of the of the uh, pendant and now I will find the middle of my pendant first of all let's put the four yarns through the needle I will take one of those crimps so let's take one of the crimps and I will put with the needle I will put the crimp on my needle like this this way and I have brought the crimp over here and now I will find the middle of my two uh, of my two threads this way and I will press on the crimp now I will take the yarns and make an overhand knot above the crimp I will pull on each of the threads like this and now that I have made a knot above the crimp I will take the threads put them on the needle and I will take one of those beads, put it also on the needle and I'll put it on the threads and I bring it down here and this way the bead covers the crimp and the knot now I can remove the needle And now I will separate the thread in two threads and I will start adding the beads on each of the two threads. So I put the thread on my needle and I will start adding beads.
So I added the first two beads. Now I will put one of those white beads. A lava stone bead. A teardrop shaped lava stone bead. Another white bead. Two black beads. And now I will put the first um, tooth shaped uh, bead with two orifices. I will put one thread through one of the holes and the second thread through the other. like this. And now I will continue adding the wooden beads. Again I put the thread on my needle and I will continue adding those beads. I'll put some white beads too, a white, a black and a white bead. Like this. Again some black beads. some more black and white beads the rest of the black beads. Like this. So now we have finished one half of the necklace. The next step will be to add the bead end. So 
So I will again put the threads on the needle and put the bead end on the needle too, like this. In order to uh, block the thread and to stop the beads from sliding out from the thread, I will use one of those crimps. And I will put the crimp but on a single thread, not on both threads. So I will put the thread through the needle and I will put the crimp on only one of the two threads. Like this. So as you can see here, I have the bead end and the crimp is here. Now, I will make sure that the beads are not too close to each other, but also not too far to each other, because if they are too far from each other, the thread will be visible. If they are too compressed like this, they will look rigid. So we want them to be neither too close nor too far from each other. So uh, we can just lift the beads, hang the beads like this, so that they order themselves one over the other. And now I will take the two threads and make a few knots, making sure that in between the two knots we will have our crimp. So I'll make one knot, another knot, a third knot perhaps a fourth knot and these knots as you can see here they hold the crimp in place and this way our beads will not fall off the thread. Now, I will take the scissors, cut the thread, And I will burn the end of the thread. Like this. So as you can see, I burned the end of the thread that I cut. And now I can take the pliers and close the bead. The bead end. Like this. And now I will take one of those jump rings, I will take the pliers, the chain nose pliers and the jump ring opener and I will open this jump ring
I will put the jump ring on the S clasp. And I'll put it on the bead end. And now I will close the jump ring like this. And I have attached the S clasp. And as you can see, half of our necklace is ready. All we have to do is create the second half of the necklace, which must look symmetrical to the first. So I will take the other two threads, put the threads on the needle, the next beads in a symmetrical way. Now I have reached the pointed bead and again I will separate the two I will separate the two threads and I will put one thread through each of the holes of the bead. And now let's continue with both threads being put on the needle because all the other beads are wooden beads.
And now the beads have been added to the thread. Now I will put the bead uh, end. Now I will put the bead on the thread. I will remove one thread. Then I will take the crimp, put the crimp on only one of the two threads. This way. Now I can remove the needle. And again, let's see from a closer distance. Again, we have the B, the crimp on one of the threads, the bead end here, and the two threads. Now I will make, I will use the two threads to make a knot. Before that, I will lift the uh, thread so that the beads arrange themselves alone on the thread so that they are not too tight to each other, too compressed, nor too loose, so that they uh, are not too rigid, nor that we can see the thread. And now I will make a few knots here. And those knots will be masked by our bead end. Now that I have made a few knots, I will cut the thread. Like this. I will put the two threads away. I will take the lighter and burn the end of the thread. Like this. I will take the pliers, close the bead end. this way and I will put the second jump ring on the bead end. So I will open it again with the pliers and the jump ring opener and put it on the bead end here. This way.
like this. And now I will close the necklace and let's see what the finish, finished necklace looks like. So this is the finished necklace. We have the wooden beads, the S clasp as a closure, the lava stone beads in the shape of a teardrop and the bone pendant. So I hope you liked the video and thank you for watching.